Who do you think out of these cuts becomes all elite? And I think this is a good transition for me also to get that list up. So we do that here. So- I'm not convinced that any of them will be all elite. I think they're, I, I would say most of the people that I would guess are going to go to impact or do the indies. I don't know that there's anyone that like stands out to me that, that Tony Khan will want in aw you know what i mean like these were not any really top guys that people are going to be like oh yeah i'm gonna go watch aw because you got rid of my guy like no one is going to be like that excited and i mean that in like the most respectful way it wasn't like they let go of you know people were talking about edge going out all you know aw like if that shit happened then damn like that would be crazy but it's like are we really gonna be all like oh my god mustafa ali is it all elite like no no one's no one's gonna care like he would be back to where he is in wwe exactly like it would be hyped for that moment and it would be simply because wwe got rid of them and now they're on the opposite brand but other than that i don't really know that any of them are going to be like mega stars somewhere else. I think that like Emma could thrive in impact. Um, yeah. Her and Riddick Moss be a tag team, do a thing, manager thing there. Mustafa Ali, I'm sure would do great in impact. Uh, impact. Shelton Benjamin's old and so is Dolph. So it's like, I think if Shelton wanted to do something in all elite wrestling, he probably could. Um, because of his experience. Dolph already seems like he's established himself outside of wrestling and the comedy scene and that kind of thing. So I feel like I don't see him being like, give me uh, an indie date, you know? Like, Yeah, no. They would be more... Um, bringing D- Dolph Ziggler is... I could see going down the Mac Cardona path, mm-hmm. the Cody Rhodes type path where you're your own entity. You know, mm-hmm. you don't, you're not uh, obligated... Or contractively obligated, excuse me, by one company. Yeah, because yeah. Because of, honestly, not only just because of the wrestling, but because of the extracurriculars you do outside. And in mm-hmm. this case, the comedy, it's hitting. You know, I made this joke on Twitter, but I, I, when is the next time you think we're going to see Dolph Ziggler on BTE? Because his brother, yeah, Nick. No, he's Nick. He's Ryan Nick. Nemeth. Mm-hmm. It is an AEW. And Ryan Ryan Nem Nem. That's his Twitter name. Rai Rai Nem Nem. That's a good one. That's I know. I wish I could one. have a cool one like that. I'm like, Sar Sar Mar Mar, but it doesn't sound the same. Rai Rai Nem Nem. Um, also, Dana Brooke, Impact. She would thrive in Impact. Yeah, I, and, and, would... and that's great, <laughs> you know? She would do well in the AW women's division. Maybe. I just, I, I just don't know personality-wise yeah. she's not there yet. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the same thing with like Trinity. I love Trinity. So talented in the ring, but she was always kind of like, eh, when she would talk on the mic. So I feel like she fits more in impact for that. Mm. Um, and she's thriving and she's loving it. So I think Dana definitely could go over there. Um, but the other ones like, you know, like Aaliyah, like AEW is not going to be like, come on, Aaliyah. You know, like we want you. Come on, come on. Aaliyah could go down like a modeling route. She can, I mean, she could could do the indies, she could do impact. She could, I don't know, like, but Shanky, Shanky was sad. Um, I I like Shanky, honestly. Oh, yeah, Elias could definitely work in uh, impact for sure. 